Now I'd like to think about how browsers optimize for rendering. A key innovation for browsers was the concept of preloading. Before browsers preloaded, they would read for non-blocking resources like images and CSS, and they would pull them into the DOM. And as soon as they encounter a JavaScript, they would block completely. They would fully load the JavaScript, and then they would continue opening connections pulling in the other resources in the page and finally rendering everything. After preloading, what happens is the browser, when it encounters that JavaScript, it actually uses a lighter weight parser that keeps parsing ahead, looking for resources in the HTML and preloading them in anticipation that they will actually be used when the real parser encounters them in the HTML. A few things can happen. What if the JavaScript actually changes that HTML and now the resources that the preloading parser I thought were going to be loaded are no longer loaded? Well, they're in fact loaded for no reason if that's the case, and they can actually block other resources being loaded. But more commonly, what happens is there's actually images in the JavaScript, and because the JavaScript is not in the look ahead, because it's actually being loaded at the time, those images are not preloaded, and they're only actually loaded when they're encountered in the JavaScript. A lot of modern, what are called single-page applications that rely on JavaScript, really can't take advantage of this type of optimization. What do you do to optimize this type of application and applications that need to use JavaScript? I think the idea is, number one, you want to minimize redraws or eliminate redraws before the initial page is loaded. Users need to see the page without it jumbling around. If it moves around or any element on the page moves around, we can see that their attention diminishes and they're not nearly as engaged. Then, try to make most of the manipulations, if possible, happen off screen. Again, the key is render once and only once and try to remove any sort of redrawing. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.